Okay, we're now going to look at percentages and without a calculator. Uh, so, I personally think there's only four percentages you need to be able to work out to be able to do any percentages question, both in real life or in a test, without a calculator. Those four percentages are 50%, 25%, 10%, and 1%. And if you can work those out, you can do any question. So, to give 50% of something, well, 50%, as you know, is a half. So, to find 50%, you divide it by 2. To get 25%, well, that's uh, a quarter. So, you half it and half it again. So, you divide by 4. Or, you can half it and half it again. To get 10%, well, 10, 10% 10 are 100. So, divide 100 by 10. So, you divide by 10. And to get 1%, well, to get from 100% to 1%, you divide by 100. You need to learn these off by heart. So to get 50%, you divide by 2. To get 25%, you divide by 4. To get 10%, you divide by 10. To get 1%, you divide by 100. If you can work these out, you can work out any percentages questions. So for instance, if they wanted you to get 5%, well, you get 10%, and then half it. If they wanted you to get 35% of a number, well, you can get 25%, get 10% and add them together. That'll be 35%. Let's look at some questions now. Okay, so here's four examples to get us started. So, if you want to, the so first question is, what's 50% of 30? But to get 50%, remember the table we've just looked at, to get 50%, you divide by two. So you need to do 30 divided by two. Half of 30 is 15. So 50% of 30 is 15. Next one, we want to get 25% of 160. Well, to get 25%, you divide by 4. Now, there's two ways of doing that. You could do 160 divided by 4. 4 into 1 doesn't go. Remainder 1. 4 into uh, 16 goes 4 times, and so 4 into 0 goes uh, 0. So the answer is 40. Alternatively, another way to get 25% quite quickly is to half it and half it again. So half of 160 is 80, and half of that is 40. Next one. 10% uh, of 160. To get 10%, you divide by 10. So you do 160 divided by 10. So 160 divided by 10, well, you can just take off the zero. It's going to be 16. And finally, 10% of 23. Well, you want to do 23 divided by 10. So you want to move the decimal place once to give you 2.3. Let's look at some more examples. Okay, the question says, work out 5% of 700. To get 5% of 700, first of all, you want to get 10%. So, to get 10%, remember the table before, to get 10%, you divide by 10. So 10%, well, if you divide 700 by 10, you would get 70, taken off a of zero, take off a of zero, 70. So 10% is 70. We want 5%. So you get from 10% to 5%, you half it. So you half 70. Half of 70 is 35. So 5% of 700 is 35. So you get your 10% and then half it. Okay, uh, this question says, what's 40% of 800? So uh, there's lots of ways you can do this one. You could get 50%, 10%, take them away from each other. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get 10% of 800 and then I'm gonna add four of them together because that'll be 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, which would be 40%. So 10%, of 800 equals 80, because you divide it by 10, take off the zero is 80. So 10% is 80, so I'm gonna do 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80. You can just do 80 times four. Um, there's lots of ways to do it. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24, plus eight is 32. So the answer is 320. Okay, uh, we're now going to look at 20% of 23. So this one, I'm going to get 10%, a 10% and add them together, or get 10% and then double it. So 10% of 23 is 2.3, because remember you divide it by 10, so 23 divided by 10, but that's place one's 2.3. So that's 10%, 10% is 2.3, so 20% will be double 10%, so double that is 4.6. So 20% of 23 is 4.6.